Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick little interface of Canva. Now you should always be using the Canva app because I personally believe it is faster and you don't accidentally exit out of your browser instead of using the website version. So once you're in Canva, you can click create a design. And there are several things you can do. You can search for templates or you can do a custom size. Now, one thing I want you to be aware of is that there are many different sizings that we can use. We can use pixels, inches, millimeters, and centimeters. But when we are designing pixels, PX are typically used for digital items. So if you're using video or Instagram posts or anything that is going to live on the internet, it needs to be in pixels. However, if you are going to print something out, you will want it to be in inches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do an eight and a half by 11 design. This is your standard letter design. Now I am currently using a free trial of Canva Pro. Do I love Canva Pro? Absolutely. Do I necessarily wanna spend or have the extra money each month to spend on Canva Pro? No but um, it is up to you and what you want to do. If you ever get offers for free trials, I would 100% try it and see how you like it. So we have our templates, which you can scroll through here, and there are many different templates that you can use. We have our elements, which they have your recently used lines and shapes, graphics, and stickers. And the ones with this crown next to it is the Pro. You can either use the Pro if you want to pay for Canva Pro, or you can pay, I think it's a dollar per design. You can upload files, you can add text, and when you're adding text, you can either do a heading, which is just typical type, or you can go ahead and add one of the recently used ones. And what you can do is you can click on it, and if you go over to this dot, 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 you can click ungroup and that separates the text out. So now each line is an individual text where you can move it around. And if you hold your mouse down, drag a square over it, you can highlight all of them and then I'm going to press delete. Down here you have the add a page, which you can click and add a page. And then if you click this little trash can up here, you can delete it. You can go over to File, and you can click View Settings. And what this does is that it brings up different things. So we have Show Rulers and Guides, which if I turn that off, it turns off those little ruler things. Now the number one thing you can do from a graphic designer to elevate your designs is to use the rules and guides. So all you have to do is you hold down your mouse and you can draw these vertical and horizontal lines to help you create alignment within your design. You can also go to view settings. You can show the margins on the page. So these are one inch margins. And then you can also show the print and bleed. Now the print and bleed is where your design will get cut off if you exceed this further dotted line. So that's the maximum that you want to do. So we are going to just quickly make something so I can show you some quick tips and tricks that I like to use as a graphic designer. So let's say I'm going to use this text right here. The first thing I would do is I would go and I would ungroup it. Now that I have these ungrouped, I think I'm going to just make a set of signs. So we will put be kind and the key when you're doing graphic design is to go big. So this is way too small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down the corner and I'm just going to expand that. So I'm going to say um, be kind and then maybe I'll look for um, put it like be kind as in B and I will look for a shape of a B. So I'm going to go to B, view all, and I 
think I'm just going to go with like a basic B. So I wanted to work with the free elements, so I think I'm going to use this one. And if I wanted to work with just black and white, I could change all of these to a white color. All I have to do is click on it and change these colors. So let's say I do something like this. And what I will do is I'll take my guides, guide and rulers and I will start aligning. And what you can do is you will want to find um, specific anchor points within the design. So for example, the center point of this B is a good anchor point. And I will um, expand this just to make it a similar length. And then I will start building out my design. So as you can see, I lined up the E with the K and then I've got my B and then I've got my kind. So what I'll probably do is I will click on the back of the page and I will take this and I will do a yellow color. And I kind of like the way that looks, but what I think I will do is I will change my um, other element colors. Okay, I think I like that. There's still contrast, but then again, it is also um, a little different. And then what I will do is I will highlight it and I will rotate it, and then I will make it large. And I'm obviously trying not to extend past um, the cutoff line. So that is where you are going to want to trim it. And I'm honestly not liking that. Maybe I'll bring in some white. Let's see what that would look like. And I think I definitely want to change this um, harsh black to more of a charcoal color. Because one of the things that you can do in graphic design is to get away from um, using the, comp the generated like black black because um, it'll just make your design look nicer, a little bit more custom, a little bit more tailored because it just takes the harshness off of the image. Let's see how that looks like as yellow. Okay, I think I actually like that as yellow. So that is kind of how it looks like. I'm going to go over to File, and I will click Settings, and I'll get rid of my margins, and I'll get rid of my bleed. Okay, so here is my Be Kind sign. And then I think one thing I want to do is I want to add a texture to it. So I'm just going to look up old paper and there's many that you can use. I kind of like this one, that looks neat. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to rotate it by holding down your mouse and doing the rotate. All of these um, controls are pretty similar to what we're used to seeing. I'm going to hold down this quarter, I'm gonna enlarge it. And then I'm going to go over to this checkered part, which is the transparency. And then I'm going to lower it down and as you can see, it adds a nice texture to our design. And then before you click off of it, you are going to want to go over to this lock and you're going to want to lock that in place. Now what that does is that since our design is in layers, so if you think about it, our back layer is the solid yellow color. Our middle layer is our text and our graphics. And then our top layer is our image of the paper, we lowered the transparency down to make make it a little bit more see-through so it adds the texture. So I'm going to go ahead and come up here, I'm going to name it Be Kind, and then I will go ahead and I will share, I will download, and if you're going to print this out, you want it for a PDF print and then you will click download and this is what it looks like so the reason why this works well 
is because we used alignment, used our rule and guides to line up the specific elements within the design, so the E and the K, and the B stinger with the D. We created contrast by enlarging it and rotating everything together. And then we added texture to make it look a little worn. And by not sticking with that heavy, typical black, it also helped give that unique vintage aesthetic. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. And I also picked out a few videos that you might like.